Marijuana legalization advocates are celebrating. I think that's awesome, actually. As U.S. President Joe Biden says he will pardon Americans convicted in federal courts of simple marijuana possession. No one should be in jail just for using or possessing marijuana. It's already legal in many states. And criminal records for marijuana possession have led to needless barriers to employment, to housing, and educational opportunities. No one is currently in federal prison solely for possessing marijuana, according to the White House, but more than 6,500 people will see their convictions pardoned. We're talking about folks like me who literally had half a joint on them. Uh, that's something that really can follow you the rest of your life. And even though I'm a writer and a journalist who works on marijuana policy, it's something that came up in my life, too. So um, this is big, great news. Biden is also encouraging governors to take the same steps for state level convictions. But some states with conservative leadership, including Texas, are signaling they won't go along with blanket pardons. Most U.S. states have taken some measures to legalize or decriminalize marijuana possession and public support has gradually moved to support decriminalization, with about two-thirds of Americans now supporting legalization of cannabis. In cities like Denver, Colorado, marijuana shops are now commonplace. I was very glad to hear Joe Biden's decision today to begin pardoning low-level marijuana offenses. I mean, these are people who use it individually. These aren't people who are, like, menaces to society. Some advocates hope Biden's announcement will lead to legalizing marijuana on a national level. But other groups like Americans Against Legalizing Marijuana argue decriminalizing pot would damage public health, lead to more drug addiction, expose more children to marijuana, and destabilize U.S. society. Biden also announced his administration will review how marijuana is categorized under federal law. It is currently a so-called Schedule One substance, the same tier as drugs like heroin and LSD. Jim Spellman, CGTN, Bethesda, Maryland.